Hi, this is Kai and I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the new Paper UI of OpenHub version 2. The Paper UI is meant as an administration tool for your OpenHub installation and you can directly reach it from uh, the dashboard of OpenHub. You will uh, directly land within the discovery inbox, but uh, let me first start with the extensions menu point. This actually gives you now easy access uh, to all available add-ons uh, for OpenHub. And from here you can install and uninstall anything you want. So you don't have to juggle around with jar files uh, anymore and copy them into your installation. You just um, pick and choose what you want. They are sorted on these tabs uh, per category, so persistent services, bindings, and whatever. You can also easily go and search for something specific. And if you found it, you can simply install it from right here. So this is really very convenient uh, to start with the different things. Once things are installed, you will find on configuration bindings a list of your uh, available bindings that are installed on your system. Please note that uh, these are currently only Eclipse Smart Home or OpenUp 2 um, bindings. So the new ones, the OpenUp 1 bindings that you can also install, won't appear on this page yet. Uh, we will in future also add uh, metadata to them so that also they are listed. Well, this is just an overview of uh, what you have installed and you can go and, for example, check then for the kind of devices that are supported uh, by those bindings. Um, besides this, uh, there's also the services tab where different kind of um, yeah, services in your systems can be configured um, besides the bindings. And for example, we have here for the basic UI possibility to choose uh, whether you want to have uh, PNG or SVG uh, icons uh, to be displayed. Or uh, you can say if you want to have icons at all or not. And you can also define the name of your uh, default sitemap that should be opened if you don't specify any other. So this again is uh, quite a convenient way to edit configuration without going into textual configuration files. Now back to our discovery inbox. Here you directly see what uh, OpenHub has discovered uh, in your local network or uh, remotely on the internet as devices or services that uh, you can connect to. And from here you simply you know, select the things that you want to use and add them. If you're adding them, you will see a list of uh, channels. The channels correspond to different uh, functions that the thing or service provides to you. And um, this can now, from uh, this page, simply be linked to some of your items. Like this one should go to weather temperature. And you link it here, which is symbolized through the through the circle here. So what I've done now is uh, to really do the binding configuration for a specific item. You will notice that uh, the paper UI currently doesn't support you in editing and creating and managing all your items. So this is something that you still have to do in a textual configuration file and only linking to your physical devices is done or can be done through the user interface. If you're familiar with OpenUp 1, you will know that um, usually you have to do something like that. So this is your item definition for your weather temperature. And then you specify in curly brackets a string uh, referencing a certain binding and providing the configuration. And exactly this part um, you don't have to do in your item file anymore if you're using the paper UI and uh, doing it that way. Now, if you had looked at uh, the paper UI in the past already, you might wonder where the control user interface of it has gone. Now, actually, this uh, has been removed for the moment in OpenHub because uh, it 
doesn't yet support uh, any kinds of sitemap, so you can't really uh, customize it to your needs. It doesn't integrate well with the rest of OpenHub. So that's why the, the paper UI should be considered for the moment really purely for the administration and not as a control user interface. But if you need something to control, well, you of course have the classic UI available as it existed in OpenHub 1. But there's also now a new replacement, which is the basic UI which is our all new user interface very similar to the classic ui but uh, using uh, material design and uh, being all more modern using the new rest api uh, of open hub 2 and um, yeah if you need something that nicely integrates with your sitemaps and uh, is a fresh and modern ui i would strongly recommend using the basic UI. That's for now. I hope you like uh, OpenHub 2 and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thank you.